Congratulations to the iSchool graduates of 2020 and 2021. What a remarkable achievement during a very difficult moment in history. While this graduation isn't quite what we wished it would be in terms of format, let's focus on what's most important, you and your achievements. The dedication, ingenuity, and resilience that you have shown during these last 18 months is immensely inspiring and humbling. And I wanna thank you for it. We have just lived through, indeed are still living through, a period that people will cite for centuries to come. A period of tremendous progress and achievement we didn't think possible only 18 months ago. Think of the vaccines and the fundamental changes to the way we live thanks to technology and information. But it's also highlighted how vitally important it is to use these tools in a way that is accountable, fair, and responsible. I see the iSchool and you, its graduates, as leaders in taking our world where it needs to go next. You will create breakthroughs, start companies, run companies, found movements, and be academic leaders. And you'll do it by doing what the iSchool has always done, by combining information and technology with human-centered perspective and purpose. I am so much more confident about the future, knowing that it will be in your hands. You and the iSchool are together creating a tremendous legacy. We have big plans for the future. Congratulations to our MIDS, MIMS, Mikes, and PhD students. We can't wait to see what you will achieve in the coming years. Congratulations. Welcome graduates, family, and friends. I'm Hani Farid, professor and associate dean for the School of Information. Graduation weekend is one of the highlights of serving in an academic leadership position. It's always a bittersweet because we have to say farewell but we also get to say congratulations as we welcome family and friends to campus to celebrate your past accomplishments and the beginning of the next chapter in life. Like me, I imagine you are disappointed by not being together in person, but please know that this should not take away from your sense of accomplishment. Indeed, quite the opposite. Not only have you completed your studies, you have done so during incredibly trying times and circumstances. This year, we celebrate a remarkable and resilient graduating class across five programs. 255 MIDS graduates, 51 MIMS graduates, 43 MIKES graduates, 21 five-year MIDS graduates, and one PhD graduate. You're a diverse cohort in terms of your backgrounds, your degrees, your career interests, and where you call home. You arrived here to UC Berkeley from nearly a dozen states across the US and from over a dozen countries ranging from Chile to China and from Luxembourg to India. In the early part of the 20th century, the so-called greatest generation was shaped by the Great Depression and World War II. A century later, history has yet to close the chapter on your generation, but you will surely be remembered in a similar vein. You weathered a global economic meltdown in 2008 a decade of social tensions and upheavals, and a multi-year global pandemic, and yet you force society to begin the long journey of addressing social, economic, and environmental injustices, all the while completing your studies and taking care of your friends, families, and communities. You will surely be remembered for your resilience in the face of overwhelming and at times impossible challenges and your championing of social and environmental justice. I'm incredibly proud to call you a graduate of the School of Information. I am now pleased to introduce the 2021 School of Information commencement speaker, Brad Smith. As president of Microsoft, Brad plays a key role in spearheading the company's work on critical issues involving the intersection of technology and society, including cybersecurity, privacy, artificial intelligence, environmental sustainability, human rights, immigration, and philanthropy. Brad earned his JD from Columbia University Law School and studied international law and economics at the Graduate Institute in Geneva, Switzerland. Prior to joining Microsoft, Brad was an associate and then partner at the law firm Covington & Burling. 
In 1986, in the very early days of the computer revolution, Brad was the first associate at his law firm to insist on having a personal computer on his desk as a condition of accepting a job offer. Since this time, Brad has been a leading thinker and voice in the technology sector. He has been called a de facto ambassador for the technology industry at large, and he's been described as one of the technology industry's most respected figures. I first met Brad in early 2000 when he was Microsoft's general counsel. And at that time, Brad was critical already in pushing the technology sector to address emerging threats, particularly around child safety. At that time, Brad stood alone in the industry as a voice for justice and ethical technology. His voice and impact has only increased in importance over the past two decades. Today, as technology plays an increasingly more important and complex part of our daily lives, we are incredibly honored to welcome Brad Smith to the iSchool. Welcome, Brad. Hello, everyone, and a big thank you first to Professor Fareed, with whom we at Microsoft have worked for many years on some really important projects using technology to protect children around the world. The first thing I want to say to all of you who are graduating today is the obvious. Congratulations. This is a happy day. It's a big moment in your lives. You've worked hard to get here. And even though I'm sure it's not the way any of you imagined your graduation would look like, none of that should take away from the enthusiasm that I hope all of you feel. And I hope you all have a chance to celebrate the day in whatever way works best for you. A second thing I would like to say at the outset is, wherever you are, I hope you'll take a moment to say thank you to the people who have helped you reach this day. You may be sitting next to them on a couch somewhere watching this, or you may be talking to them right after this program comes to an end. One of the amazing things about the kind of program that each of you have made it through is that it's not the type of thing that anyone ever truly does alone. You always rely on other people. Maybe it was a parent or parents or a spouse or a sibling or friends or fellow students or professors who so often are that helping hand that gets you through difficult times. Let them know today that you appreciate what they've done. And then I want to spend a few minutes stepping back and just sharing a few thoughts briefly on what I hope you might take away from the experience that you've had. For better and for worse, for now and for all time, all of you will be remembered as the class that went to graduate school in a pandemic. It is not what we would wish upon the graduates of tomorrow or a decade from now. My son just graduated from law school, so I got to see firsthand in our own household just how challenging the experience can be. But even though it's not what you would have wished for, even though it's not what I would wish for anyone, I think for better and for worse, it has provided you with a unique set of experiences and perspectives. And as you go out into the world and we look to a life beyond COVID, I think it is a foundation on which you can build. The first thing that it has provided is a deep sense of resilience. You've had to do this in a way that few students, that few generations of students have ever had to before. And because it has not been easy, because it has been hard, I know there have been many days when you've had to dig deep, be creative, and persevere through graduate school with a novel approach. And that ability to just know that you can do things that others have not done before, that ability to have that self-confidence that no matter what life throws at you, you can find new ways to address it, believe me, that will serve you well. I hope that you'll never have another pandemic in your lifetime, but life will bring some kind of challenge. It may be a professional challenge, it may be a personal one, it may be large, it may be small, 
but call on the resilience and remember what got you through this because it will serve you well in the future. One of the great things about graduate school is a second aspect that I hope you'll also build upon as you go forward. It's a wonderful time of life because you get to exercise your curiosity. You get to just pursue a love of learning and apply it. And let's face it, for all of you, you've been applying it in one of the great fields that is changing the world around all of us. Well, one thing we've all done, I think it's fair to say over the last year and a half, is spend more time watching streaming video than in normal times. And I have to admit, even though I'm on the board of Netflix, one of my favorite lessons of the last year came from watching a different series. It was the Ted Lasso series on Apple TV. There comes a moment when the main character, Ted Lasso, quotes Walt Whitman. It is a phrase that I love. He says, be curious, not judgmental. I think that has such powerful words of wisdom for all of us. And as you go out and do whatever it is, it could be a career in academia, it could be in a tech company, it could be in a startup, it could be in government, it could be with a nonprofit. There will be days when I hope you'll remember that phrase because you'll suddenly be engaged in a conversation with people. It may even involve an important issue of the day and you may find people rushing to judgment. Well, ultimately in life, we do need to make judgments. But the thing I love about that phrase is that the judgments we reach will always be better if we start not by reaching conclusions, but by being curious. And curiosity is exercised by asking questions, not making statements. It's at its best for each of us when we're listening and not just talking. And just as you've had to be curious to learn and master the subjects before you in graduate school, there's just this fantastic opportunity, I think, for you to call on that capability and exercise it every day. And then there's one last thought I would leave with you. You're leaving one of the great universities in the world. You're pursuing a path that many others of you before you have pursued when they've left Berkeley. And like them, you have the opportunity to take what you have learned and have an impact that is as broad as your imagination can reach. One of the great things about the path that you all have been pursuing, the subjects that you've been studying, is that they connect with every issue in the world today. When I think of the issues I've been dealing with just at Microsoft today, I just came from a meeting talking about how we provide assistance and relief to people in India suffering from the strain on a hospital system amidst COVID-19. Dealing with issues about you know, economic advancement, inclusion, the protection of human rights, privacy, security, all of the issues that matter to people in the world today have a piece that connects with what you have been learning about. And that gives you an opportunity, no matter what you do, to contribute to something that is bigger than yourselves. And that's what I hope you'll do. It doesn't mean that you necessarily will devote every waking hour, but make it a slice, at least, of what you go out and do with your time in the years ahead. I am excited about what I think you have the opportunity to do. I'm excited in part because I'm optimistic about the decade ahead. I will virtually assure you that in the year 2030, we're gonna spend a lot more time talking about something like carbon rather than COVID. And that will be just one of the many issues of the decade that you will have the opportunity to help the world address. So remember what it took to get you through and call on that resilience when you need it. Be curious, not judgmental as you think about how technology and what you have learned will connect with everything that's happening and make a contribution to something that's bigger than yourself. 
If you do those three things well, I think it's a recipe for a happy life. I think it's a recipe for a life worth living. It's definitely a recipe for putting your education and this degree to good use. Good luck. Thank you. I look forward to seeing what you can do. Thank you, Brad, for your words of advice and wisdom. We will now recognize our graduates from all five of our programs, MIMS, MIDS, fifth year MIDS, MIKES, and PhD. First up is the MIMS head graduate advisor, Professor Kimiko Ryoke. The MIMS, Master of Information Management and Systems program is a two year program designed to train students in the skills needed to succeed as information professionals. The MIMS final project is a unique and challenging work that synthesizes the skills and concepts students have learned during their two years in the program. I know each and every one of you have poured your heart and soul into your project and worked collaboratively and creatively during this challenging year. So I applaud you all for a job really well done. While your final project is a concluding piece in the MIMS program, it is also an embodiment of your vision for the future, your vision of what it could be. So I hope you feel that your final project is not the end, but it is just a beginning. It is my honor to be here today to present the James R. Chen Award. The award is to celebrate the very best of the best. So now for the session one, drum roll please. The award goes to Ontology Mapping for Cardiovascular Ailments by Brinda Gurusami, Ramya Ramesh, and Bivor Segal. The judges commended that the team did an impressive job of addressing a critical need, formulating a complex but thoroughly planned solution, and executing on their approach with care and thoughtfulness. So congratulations. Now for the session two, drum roll please. The award goes to Privacy Bot by James Carney, Joanne Gia, Archana Kulkarmi, and Cameron Lopez. The judges were delighted by the originality to address a problem that is current for most of the people in this world, where data is being gathered everywhere and shared all the time. And judges applauded the team's methodical approach to problem solving. So congratulations to the winning teams and congratulations to you all MIMS 2021. Thanks for having us. My name is Jackie, the president of IMSA. We're super excited to announce this year's commencement award winners. The winner were voted by both the MIMS cohort and the PhD students. I will start by announcing the MIMS Spirit Award. This award goes to a member of the graduating class who demonstrated significant support in academics and career guidance, outstanding outreach and leadership with first year students and a strong bond with the iSchool community. This award goes to the one and only Jen Yi Wong. Jen has always been there for us. As the previous president of IMSA, Jen and her team have put together lots of community events and provided guidance to ensure our cohort feels welcomed and cared for. We love your energy, your leadership, your patience, and thank you for everything you have done for MIMS. 
Congratulations, Jen, for this well-deserved award. Now, I will pass on to Vice President Jade to announce the next award. Thanks, Jackie. My name is Jade, Vice President of Academic Affairs for this year's IMSA, and I will be announcing the Outstanding Teaching Assistant Award. This is awarded to a member of the graduating class who showed a unique or extraordinary commitment to facilitating the learning of students in one or more classes they served as a graduate student instructor. The winner of this year's award is Grace Chang. Grace's ability to create meaningful relationships with her students and genuinely reach her students made her an easy choice for this year's award. Congratulations, Grace. And now I'll pass it on to Leah to announce our last award. Thank you, Jade. My name is Leah. I'm the Vice President of Finance for IMSA. Last but certainly not least, we're announcing the Distinguished Faculty Member Award. This is awarded to an outstanding iSchool faculty member who is heavily involved in the academic life of students, demonstrated leadership, and provided superior academic or professional guidance and advice. It's clear that when many iSchoolers hear those words, a very special professor and all his rabbits come to mind. This year, this award goes to Koi Cheshire. Despite the challenges of the virtual classroom, Koi creates a uniquely engaging and communal learning environment. With his genuine enthusiasm, collaboration with course staff, and XKCD comics. In a time of great uncertainty and loss, it is no small feat to make students feel heard, feel part of a community, and not even to mention understand statistical significance. So congratulations again to Koi for this well-deserved award. Congratulations to all of our MIMS graduates. I'm now pleased to introduce the MIDS Head Graduate Advisor, Professor Alex Hughes. Super congratulations to each and every one of the MIDS graduates this year. This has been a year like none we've ever seen. And the challenges that you faced, the challenges that you've overcome in your personal lives, on top of the work that you've done inside of the program, uh, stretches the imagination. I can't imagine how hard this must have been. I am immensely proud of you. We are, each of your instructors, are immensely proud of what you've been able to accomplish in this time of trials and in this period of personal growth. I'm so glad that you're through. I'm so glad that you've graduated. I'm so glad to have you as a part of our alumni community. We haven't been able to be together on campus. I managed to sneak in today to record this. Uh, I hope that whenever you're able, that you'll come to Berkeley, that you'll come and you'll say hello. Uh, your instructors are here, your faculty are here. We'd love to hear about all of the amazing things that you're doing as you're moving forward in your lives. In addition to congratulating all of the graduates, I have the special privilege of highlighting some of the work of our graduates. This comes in the form of the Halvarian Capstone Award. The Capstone Award is presented to one team each term, nominated by their peers and then voted on by a faculty and industry leader panel for the work that was uh, stood out among all of the rest of the excellent work that our teams did. The Capstone Project represents a semester-long effort that each of the graduates undertook, uh, gathering data, designing product, refining algorithms, testing with users. It was, in very real terms, uh, like a challenge, time spent working hard, time spent many nights, I'm sure the graduates will remember, and also the graduates' families will remember, many nights spent working putting these together. I'll start by presenting the Halvarian Award for the summer 2020. This award was granted to the Wild Track team of Jonathan D'Souza, Jacques Makatonin, Danon Price, and Michael Ryder. The Wild Tracks project took images of wild game, uh, passed them through an image recognizer and classifier, and then presented back out 
uh, names of or categories of animal that we're likely to have left this. This product, this project, has applicability not only for conservation and preservation, but also for individuals who are out for a hike in their local trails and wonder, I wonder what this was. What a neat piece of work that they did. In the fall of 2020, Lipspeak was the Halvarian Capstone Award winner. Lipspeak's team is Avinash Chandrasekharanan, I'm sorry, uh, Lena Gurevich, Eric Hu, and Chao Chen Ya. Uh, Lipspeak moved from being able to read, like very literally, read the, the speech off of an individual who might be hearing impaired and produce this into um, a speech, like a, a, a named speech. Uh, what neat work this was. I have the lucky privilege of announcing two Halvarian Capstone Award winners who haven't previously been notified that they've won. Uh, first, I have Tower Scout, who is Jia Le, Gunnar Main, Thaddeus Segura, and Karen Wong. Tower Scout took satellite imagery and identified where ventilation towers or like um, cooling towers are on top of buildings as a method of identifying potential transmission of airborne diseases. Uh, in a year like this, this is a very applicable and very interesting project. Great work, team. I also have the privilege of awarding uh, Gredient, the team of Isa Chow, Sylvia Miramontes, Emma Rusin, uh, JJ Sahabu, and Chelsea Shu. Uh, Gredient looked at ingredient labels lists for pharmaceuticals, uh, used image recognition techniques to then map those onto models that looked for ingredient uh, co-interactions or ingredient side effects between different medications that an individual might take. For each of these teams who were the Halvarian Capstone Award winners, and for each of the other graduating teams who put hard work into their final capstone semester, thank you and congratulations. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Kim Darnell, mid-student representative for the spring 2018 cohort and a proud member of the summer of 2020 graduating class. It's my honor to announce the awards for Outstanding Teaching Assistant. For summer 2020, the award goes to my wonderful capstone teammate, Lee Moore, for W203 Statistics for Data Science. Lee's students describe her as their life raft, whose leadership, patience, and ability to guide them through the challenging world of probability are truly inspiring. For fall 2020, the award goes to the amazing Moomin Khan for W261, Machine Learning at Scale. Moomin students describe him as attentive and kind, as well as gifted in his ability to explain the complexities of the course material. For spring 2021, the award goes to the peerless Bill Chung for W203, Statistics for Data Science. Bill's students admire and depend on him for his clear and intuitive way of communicating the complex ideas of linear algebra, time series, and advanced statistics. As someone who benefited often from the generosity and talents of MIDS teaching assistants, I thank Lee, Moomin, and Bill on behalf of my classmates and the iSchool for their many hours of hard work and their invaluable contributions to their peers' learning. Congratulations on winning the Outstanding Teaching Assistant Award. Hi, my name is Momin Khan. I'm the Fall 2018 Student Cohort Representative and a recent graduate of the MITS program. It's my honor to introduce this year's Distinguished Faculty Awards. So without further ado, let's get to it. First, for summer 2020, we have Kyle Hamilton of W261 Machine Learning at Scale. Congratulations, Kyle. Next, for Fall 2020, we have Alberto Todoshini of W210 Capstone, Congrats again, Alberto. And finally, for spring 2021, we had Fred Nugent of W210 Capstone. I can say from all of us here at MIDS, your teaching and dedication has made this program what it is. So from the graduating class, thank you. Hello, my name is JJ Sahabu and I graduated from the fifth year MIDS program in summer of 2020 and I'm currently working as a data scientist at Nike. Today, I will be presenting the summer 2020 Distinguished Faculty Award. This recipient has gone above and beyond the classroom by fostering community in a program that spans the globe. Prior to the pandemic, this individual orchestrated gatherings amongst faculty and students, as well as encouraged conversation in shared workspaces. By doing so, students felt welcomed and transitioned from a physical classroom environment to an online experience smoothly. I am pleased to announce that this award goes to Mike Rivera.
congratulations to all of our MIDS graduates. Next up is the Mike's Head Graduate Advisor, Professor Chris Huffnagel. Class of 2021, family members and friends, a hearty congratulations to you, to all our graduates for their hard work and accomplishments this year. I so hope that we get to celebrate in person later this year, but until then know that we are proud of you and that you have the tools to take flight in our complex world. The Masters of Information and Cybersecurity program at Berkeley prepares students for practice as cybersecurity professionals. Our program is deeply multidisciplinary, but it also be benefits from lateral learning opportunities. That is the substantial expertise that students coming into the program have. We have students joining us with significant service experience in the military, in the private sector, and from government agencies. Mike's students have unquenchable intellectual in, uh, curiosity. Students from the first cohort of this program still participate in on-campus events, faculty recruiting, and they even sometimes show up for classes. It's a pleasure to share with you the names of the graduates who earned the Lily L. Chang Mike's Capstone Award. Juried by industry experts, the Chang Award recognizes the top capstone project in each cohort, that is, the final project that each student does in a team. Because of the pandemic, I will be presenting three of the awards this time. For summer 2020, the award winner of the Lily Chang Award is the Eximus Hardware Key. This is a next generation hardware security key that features malware detection, contextual multi-factor authentication, theft resistance, and user-defined security. It's a really neat product idea and was brought to us by Jorge Montes, Daniel Omey, and Yu Xiao. For fall 2020, the winner of the Lily Chang Award is Logicat. This is a PII protection uh, service for logs. Um, it's an automated process to identify and remove personally identifying information from application laws and to meet various regulatory requirements such as PCI, the computer, uh, excuse me, the California Consumer Privacy Act and the GDPR. It was created by our graduates, Stephen Booth, Kai Tang and Shirley Shu. For spring 2021, the winner of the Chang Award is Honeypot. This is a really neat idea, a hardware software device that could enable a power plant operator to, or other operator of, of um, critical infrastructure to sleep soundly, knowing that the device can alert the operator as anyone touches their internal network. And this device, distracts the attacker so that the critical infrastructure provider can um, address the attack uh, before they get to critical systems. This was created by Brian Everly, Greg Herweg, Jennifer Wango, Chu Kwan Nenimimbi, and Sam Sabaton. Congratulations to all our graduates I can't wait to see you in the fall or some other time when we can get back together in person. Hi, I'm David Ng, cohort representative for the fall 2019 class. Hi, and I'm Jorge Montañez, cohort representative for the spring 2019 class. And we are here, delighted to announce the Distinguished Faculty Awards. These awards recognize outstanding Mike's faculty members who were heavily involved in the academic life of students demonstrated leadership and are provided superior academic or professional guidance and advice. For summer 2020, I am proud to announce Professor Fatne Bayat Bogavani of Cryptography for Cyber and Network Security and Matthew Garrett of Operating System Security as the winners of the Distinguished Faculty Award. Thank you Fatne for making a quite complex and challenging topic accessible to us, helping us get off to a good start in our Mike's career by mastering the fundamentals of security. Matthew, thank you for your eagerness to share your knowledge even during off hours, helping us deep dive into OSS, kernels, TPMs, and all things security. 
For fall 2020, the Distinguished Faculty Award goes to Daniel Aranke for teaching privacy engineering. Daniel is very dedicated to teaching the subject to his students, often spending many hours with students outside of the virtual classroom. He inspires his students to solve the most complex privacy problems that are relevant in the industry. The Distinguished Faculty Award for spring 2021 goes to Stuart Schechter for teaching usable privacy and security. Along with Christian Bravo Leo, Stuart was willing to take feedback from students to modify the curriculum and grading while the course was still evolving and being established. This did not compromise quality or the academic standard of the class. This is a model of being fair, open to feedback, and action oriented. We would both like to thank you, all the staff, faculty, and members at the School of Information for making our Berkeley journey memorable. We wish the graduating class of 2021 the best of luck and see you at Coffee House. Congratulations to our Mike's graduates. And now I'm pleased to introduce the PhD head graduate advisor, Professor Coy Cheshire. Hi everyone. I am so proud to honor Nick Doty, who is receiving his PhD from the UC Berkeley School of Information. For friends or family who may not be familiar with our program, I would like to provide a little bit of context about the nature of our school and the magnitude of Nick's achievement. Our doctoral students engage in multi-year dissertation projects with a focus on interdisciplinary approaches to problems of information. Some of the many disciplines and approaches that our PhD students use in their research include computer science, sociology, philosophy, law, economics, just to name a few. Our PhD students also draw on a wide range of theoretical perspectives and methodologies. The path that a PhD student takes in pursuit of the degree is long, but it is not an entirely solitary process. Nick worked with his dissertation advisor, Professor Deirdre Mulligan, and his committee members over many years. He also worked on a variety of different projects, culminating in the dissertation. But of course, and most important of all, one's PhD adventure is made possible because of the support, the love, and the understanding of family. And I mean family in the most inclusive sense. Mothers, fathers, partners, and friends, but also one's fellow graduate students, faculty, and all of our student services staff who provided essential help along the way. We are all equally proud of you, Nick. In closing, I just want to say I'm so fortunate I had the opportunity to get to know Nick during his journey here at the School of Information. Nick, I still remember some of your challenging questions and insightful critiques when you took social issues of information during your first year in the master's degree. Along with the rest of the faculty, I was so pleased when you went on to pursue your PhD here. Over the years, I have learned so much from you about the role of privacy and security as values and just how difficult it is to integrate such concepts into internet standards. I just wanna sincerely congratulate you on your hard work and your well-earned degree. I wish you all the best in your future academic and policy initiatives, but also in your pursuit of equity, transparency, and fairness in our communities, both online and offline. Congrats, Nick, you earned it. Hello, high school friends and family. My name is Nick Doty, and uh, late last year I completed my doctoral dissertation in acting privacy and internet standards. My study of the technical standard setting boundary organizations that define internet and web protocols and answer questions about our online privacy. I want to give my greatest thanks to my advisor, Deirdre Mulligan, and my committee, Jenna Burrell and Ken Bamberger, 
for all the support and advice they gave me throughout a long and challenging dissertation process. But really, I don't think any of us high school PhDs um, can get through the program without the, without the whole community, without the students, faculty, staff, alumni. I'm so grateful for the opportunities of research collaborations and colloquia and reading groups and workshops and classes that really both gave me emotional support and helped me interrogate or find research questions. There's still so much to do, I think, for privacy on the internet and the web, and I hope I'll get a chance to work with many of you on that in the future. Cheers. Congratulations, Nick. I'm so glad your research is out in the world. Um, the work that you did is going to help engineers and policy experts all across the globe work together to build meaningful privacy protections for people all across the world. Congratulations. I hope to get to work with you more in the future, and I can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations, Nick, and congratulations to all of our graduates and your families. So many ingredients have contributed to your success, including your own hard work, but also the support of your families, your friends, fellow students, current and past teachers, and the remarkable staff who keep our educational institutions running day after day. Please remember these people as you begin your next chapter. And always remember that we are at our best when we listen to, empathize with, and lend a helping hand to those around us. I've always thought that graduation is more about beginnings than endings. This is an exciting new chapter in your life, and I wish you success, happiness, fulfillment in your professional and personal pursuits. Congratulations. Mm -hmm.